Ever pondered the significance of rivers in the vibrant tapestry of India's geography? Rivers in India are not just bodies of water. They are lifelines that shape the livelihood, culture and history of this diverse nation. Today we will journey through the longest rivers of India, understanding their importance and the roles they play in shaping the lives of millions. India's longest river, the Ganges or Ganga, stretches for over 2,500 kilometers. Originating from the Gangotri Glacier in the Indian state of Uttarakhand, it traverses through northern India before merging with the Bay of Bengal. The Ganges is not merely a river but a divine entity, worshipped by millions for its purifying properties. Next in line, we have the Godavari River. Often referred to as the Dakshin Ganga or the Ganges of the South, the river is approximately 1400 kilometers long. It originates from Trimbakeshwar in Maharashtra and flows east across the Deccan Plateau, ultimately draining into the Bay of Bengal. The Godavari River nurtures rich flora and fauna, contributing to the region's biodiversity. The third longest river in India is the Krishna River, stretching over 1300 kilometers. It originates from the Western Ghats near Mahabaleshwar and flows through Maharashtra, Karnataka, and Andhra Pradesh before joining the Bay of Bengal. The Krishna River is critical for irrigation, power generation and drinking water supply in the regions it passes through. The Yamuna, a major tributary of the Ganges, is the fourth longest river in India. It originates from the Yamunotri Glacier in the Himalayas and covers a distance of over 1300 kilometers before joining the Ganges at Triveni Sangam in Allahabad. The Yamuna River is of significant religious importance with numerous Hindu pilgrimage sites situated along its banks. Finally, we have the Narmada River, the fifth longest river in India. It is about 1300 kilometers long, flowing westwards from its source in Amakantak, Madhya Pradesh, and draining into the Arabian Sea. The Narmada River is unique as it flows through a rift valley, resulting in the formation of stunning marble rocks and waterfalls. To encapsulate, rivers in India are much more than just water bodies. They are the lifeblood of the nation, influencing everything from agriculture and power generation to culture and religion. The Ganges, Godavari, Krishna, Yamuna, and Narmada, in their descending order of lengths, each play a unique role in shaping India's geography and the lives of its people. Their significance is profound and multifaceted, contributing to the rich tapestry of India's diverse landscape. So the next time you gaze upon a map of India or visit this vibrant land, remember the rivers, remember their stories, their lengths, and the life they bring. For these rivers are not just geographical features, they are the pulsating veins of India, carrying its lifeblood from the mountains to the sea.